Kia ora, my name is Cyrus Dahl. I am Māori, I'm 14 years old, and I have cerebral palsy. I don't look at myself as having anything wrong with me. I'm not sick or stupid. I'm just like any other kid. I just need some help to be able to get around, get dressed, and have my food and drinks. Apart from that, I'm the same as everyone else. There is a park near my place, but it has nothing that I can play on. So I set out to change that. Most people have no idea about me or about cerebral palsy. Some people think because of my physical appearance that I'm dumb or stupid and talk to me like I'm deaf or pat me on the head like a dog. They talk to my mum when I'm standing right there instead of talking to me. I see them as the dumb and stupid people. It makes me cross all the time and it is very annoying. Ready? Okay, cool. One, two, three. Now, feet, feet, use your feet. Cerebral palsy, many doctors can tell you things using very long words that you will never understand. But to me, it just means that Cyrus finds it harder to do things that other kids can do in terms of using his body as his biggest challenge. Technology is a great help to me. Talking is difficult. I have asked someone to talk for me because I don't want to sound like a robot or for people to feel sorry for me. I use the computer to write. I can nod my head for yes or no. Go get the lips on he gets exhausted very quickly. It takes a lot of effort for him to be able to do just everyday things. His movement, he uses twice as much water as anybody else. He chews through his energy levels and his food faster than anyone else. And so he gets tired. I'm into building and making things with my mum, video editing on my computer, and I like rap and pop music. I normally don't like parks because they are boring, because there is nothing for me to play on. I get sad watching other kids play when I can't. We had a family holiday in Taranaki, and they had accessible swings at a few parks we went to. It meant I could actually play on something by myself. I wanted to get some of these swings in my local park. We thought, let's do something about that, and did some research on those swings and the ones that we saw, and then decided to go and approach the council. Matt came down and met me and Mum at the park. He told us he was really excited to be able to help us, and we looked at the area where it could go. Chris approached me and we looked at what was actually on site at that point in time. We had three existing swings. There was a junior swing, standard belt swing, and a basket swing. We weren't really in favour of removing one of those and coming in with the uh, inclusive swing that they were proposing. The budgets are set for this year, so we couldn't do anything at this point in time. Matt said, this is great, but we've got no money. So we thought, well, that's not going to be a barrier. We're just going to get it sorted. We like doing projects together. I say, Mum, can we go to Mitre 10 to get some wood or other stuff? I think they think we're serial killers because we buy duct tape and cable ties. You know, it's, it's the world of make do or, or miss out. So we made a board simple. It's actually a kid's placemat, I think. You get it from the $2 shop, with letters, and we just worked on that. What would you like to do? You want to tell me? T. H. E. The. G. Uh, the green screen. Do you want me to film you doing something in there? Mm. Yep, OK, cool. I've challenged him to think about what it is that he needs. So if we need resources, he needs to do the research on where do we buy the biggest spotlights from, where do we have to get the tripods from. Action. Oh, oh, oh. I can't wait to go on my computer when I'm at home. I love making music videos, TikTok videos, and editing. I have my own green screen and use editing programs to make my movies. Okay, I'll send that to your messenger. You're going to make up a bit of an edit on it. Oh, okay, cool. 
I have an adapted gaming mouse that a great engineer 3D printed a ball which sits on top of it, which I move with my foot. He's converted it, so you've got your left click, right click, drag, etc. And there's no stopping him now he's on Facebook and Messenger. I have lots of Facebook friends and I'm always asking for editing advice from them. Nice. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of patience and a lot of time to do one of those little videos. Here is a video I made recently called Did You Feel the Earthquake Last Night? To raise money for an accessible swing, I helped set up a Give a Little page, made posters and pamphlets, then started emailing people, including media, asking for support. I didn't want to mess around with sausage sizzle. I wanted to go for the big money so I could make a real difference. I emailed TVNZ Breakfast to tell them about what I was doing and they invited me to come on the show. I was so excited. I told my mum when she got home from work and she thought I was telling porkies. He goes, oh, I've teed us up an interview. And I went, yeah, whatever. I thought he was just having another prank because he's always, you know, got a few gigs going. And sure enough, I get, um, I said, that's cool. Go back and give them my number and get them to give me a message. And sure enough, I got this text. So it just went from there. It was amazing. Well, we're really excited to have Cyrus here. Cyrus, congratulations, buddy. This is such a great idea. Now, you need to raise and get this $25,000 for this accessible swing. It's a lot of money, Cyrus. I know. I can hear you saying that. And we're going to help you raise that money today. Uh, Chris, yeah. In the studio, I was more interested in the TV camera setup and having a behind the scenes tour. The reporters were fantastic. We had a look around and Mum was great. Matt actually came up and met us at the park and measured up things and he said, look, this is great, you know, we're happy to support you. We're happy to um, project manage this um, piece of work. Mm. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any money right now. Mm. And so I said, well, well, too bad. That's not <laughs> gonna be a barrier. We'll go out and get the money. And, yeah. um, and that's what we're doing today. The support was so awesome. The donations went mad. We were driving back to school after the TV interview and got a phone call asking us to come back. TVNZ said we smashed our goal. I was so amazed. I thought I was going to jump out of my skin. Right now, Cyrus, I'm sure you Can't know this, move. but you have reached your goal, buddy. <laughs> you're amazing. Oh, Cyrus, oh, your oh, swing is on the way. The public reaction was amazing, even though the breakfast show had said on air that we'd reached over our target, people kept donating and they kept saying, do more. This 13-year-old's dream now set to become a reality. We ended up raising over $40,000, enough money to fund about eight accessible swings for other places around Wellington. Pretty cool. Once we had raised the money for the new accessible swing, we met up with Matt from the council to talk about putting the swing in. Hey, thanks for coming up here on this no, crazy windy right. day. Once it's, once it's in place, we'll look after the maintenance, <laughs> yep. and then when it comes yep. time for the renewal, we'll yep. take care of that as well. Oh, awesome. Oh. That's awesome. That is like, yeah. so good, mate. Yeah. That's awesome. Excellent. Matt okay, got his tape we'll measure be. out, and he said, yeah, we can do this. I'll help. We'll get our people on board, and we'll get our project managers together. So if I send you the designs of those cool swings we saw, yep. we can just Google search and check it out and yes. stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's quite bamboozling, the array of different equipment that's out there. And it's really trying to get a handle on, from a user perspective, what works and what doesn't. And so that's why it was great to get a contact like Chris and Cyrus. Oh, that's Sounds so like cool. Are you excited, bud? Yeah. My family are excited about the swings too. Nanny comes around a lot to see us. It is really great to have Nanny living close by. She spends lots of time with me and brings Louie the dog. We take him out with us and we go around the block. The dog always tries to get in front, but I like being in front. Whoa! <laughs> Watch out for my little doggy. My power chair helps me to get around. At first, I didn't like it because everyone stared at me. Now I don't care because I can go faster than everyone else and can go where I want to by myself. 
Now, Cyrus, remember we've got to walk up this hill. I can drive it by myself using my head controls. My mum calls me a boy racer. He was very resistant to using his power chair when he first got it, but now he's in his power chair, you can't hold him back. I'm trying to remember he's 13 and other 13 year olds go with their mates and their skateboards down the road to the dairy to get a Coke. I'll give the tarps and the cable ties to these guys in case they want to use the tarps to use as extra wind shades on the side of the um, things. But can we use the cable ties? Finally, the swings are ready. I'm so excited to have the opening. The council told me it usually takes years for any changes at a park to happen. We smashed this in only a few months. Cyrus's old school and the local kapahaka group are coming to do a performance and his principal, his previous principal and the new school principal. So, you know, that's connecting that community aspect as well. So we're real excited. We don't know who's going to turn up. I hope 100 sausages is going to cut the mustard. Cyrus absolutely loves performing. One of his passions is our school haka, so he would perform it with the boys. He just likes to get in there. He just likes to be part of anything and everything. But he's um, all of the last year, every Friday morning, he was in there at Kapahaka. At school, I have been learning waiata and te reo. Connecting with my Māori heritage is new for me. He's really quite driven, and what he's managed and achieved the world's his oyster, isn't it? And the other thing, he loves music, so he's really good at setting bits and pieces up. He's got a real definite taste in what music he likes, too. Tells you if he doesn't like what you're playing. What a tribute to you all that you've all come out on a Sunday morning in a howling gale to celebrate this. I knew that Cyrus would be able to manage something like this. <laughs> and I was just talking um, earlier about watching Cyrus outside my office window in fitness, hey, yeah. and he would think that maybe no one was watching him. But of course I was. And the music would play, and then Cyrus would start doing laps. And I would open up my window and I would yell, go Cyrus, go! And he would go even faster. So I know that you will manage anything when you set your mind to it, young man. I really want to say thank you. It's the people behind the scenes that make it happen. So thank you to the community out there. Thank you to everyone who says hi to us in the street. Thank you. To really proud. I mean, Cyrus, he's amazing because he's got things that are holding him back, but he's found a way around it and he wanted something, which was a swing. It wasn't fair. He couldn't access swings and in a very short time, he's achieved something amazing. Without further ado, I'm gonna pass back over to Fialina and the crew. Just tighten this bad boy up so we don't swing you out of town. Tape Cyrus's analogy should have been there in the first place. So effectively, we were fixing something that was broken. You know, it's a changing the thinking. It's to start from concept, not tag on and let's try and fix it afterwards. So if we can change a couple of attitudes somewhere, then actually we've won something. This is my first year at college. I go to mainstream school because I'm smart. I can communicate in lots of ways. I smile, nod my head yes or no. I can also use my arms and hands. I can use my special mouse to write emails and go on my computer. I also use my words board when I'm talking with people. We should probably start heading back because we're going to have to grab your stuff and get to class soon. But um, did you want to play a chess game? My teacher, Aide Kelly, is amazing. She knows me really well and knows when I like or don't like something. She pushes me hard, even when I don't like something or don't want to do something. 
She does this because she knows I'm smart. Okay, so if the teacher asks you a question and you want to use your preempted answer, how do you do that? Hi, my name is Cyrus and I'm 13 years old. <laughs> Good job. I'm a strong advocate for education for all children, regardless of their ability. Education is the key to opening up options and opportunities. I believe it's about the state and the system helping people to get what they need from an early intervention base to set them up so that we don't need to have people dependent on the state their entire lives. It is hard because mainstream school is very fast and they do not always understand me and sometimes don't think about adapting the lessons to include me. 30 seconds, I just want you to discuss at your table groups, what does it mean? What does cyberbullying mean? Be mean to other people, yep, perfect. Or it could be like, say, you're like trying to play with your friends, oh. like a video game, and they don't want to play with you. And yep. Like they... Cyrus is in his first year at college, which is a huge achievement. And the reality is there's a whole bunch of students and young people with disabilities who never transition from intermediate to high school. If you search the um, Ministry of Education stats on the numbers that have been exempt to go for homeschooling, I would say 89, 90 something or other percent have um, disabilities. So another failing on our system to look after our people, if you ask me. So you don't have to tell us about the cyberbullying because I understand that you're not comfortable doing that, but what did you do about it? Can you tell us that? You ignored. You got... Oh. Did no. ignoring it work? No. If ignoring it is not working, what else could you do? T, tell, M. You told your mum? Yeah. You tell your mum? Did that work? Yeah. Nice. So mum fixed it. That was good. Mums are good like that, aren't it's they? It's good. It's helpful having that support, isn't it? Yeah. Technology is going to be the key that opens up Cyrus's doors and his options and his ways going forward. And this morning with his carer, when I came home, he was on this computer program designing the layout of a supermarket. So it's cool. That stuff's awesome. OK, hey, Cyrus, have an awesome time tonight. Have fun at your wards, yeah? Make sure you're not too late for school tomorrow. No, I'm tired excuses, yeah? You can be a little bit late because it's Thursday, so it's late to start anyway. Alrighty, see ya. I want photos, OK? Tell Mum I want photos. Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenakoto Katoa. Welcome everyone to the 2020 Wellies. What a great night it is. This is the 32nd annual Dominion Post Wellingtonian of the Year Awards. It's a celebration. It was pretty awesome that I was nominated for a Wellie Award. The awards recognise Wellingtonians for doing good things. It was a big day. So I was very excited by the fact that there were other famous people there. So his mission at the entire uh, night was to go and stalk people and make sure he found and introduced himself to them. So joining me is Alice, who's going to tell us what is this all about, Alice? So Nico Foundation is Wellington's community foundation. It's our community foundation. So we are delighted to be here tonight to support the Philanthropy Awards and uh, celebrate some incredible individuals. I didn't even know what the word philanthropy meant. Cyrus Dow, who's a 13-year-old activist with cerebral palsy, believes all children should be able to play in and enjoy their local parks. The awards night was the best moment of my life. I got new clothes to wear and even wore a tie. And guess who won? Well done, Cyrus. Putting Cyrus forward for this award was a really easy choice. We had met lots of incredible young people who are fundraising for their communities, but Cyrus was just a no-brainer. What he has achieved over the last couple of months is fantastic. Did this surprise you, what he did? Oh, look, nothing surprises me with Cyrus. He says, why start with the sausage chisels? Let's go straight to the top. So, um, we are here and we want to thank everybody, so thank you very much. And especially Nico Foundation for um, our last minute bit of excitement and um, celebrating the success. So, 
Yeah, thank you. Cyrus was lost for words himself, and he got the wobbly chin moment himself. Just the whole overwhelmingness of it. It was cool. Thank you, Cyrus, and Alice Montague from the Nikau Foundation. It's the first time he's actually ever been into a movie theatre, so it's the first time he's even seen the big screen. So seeing himself and get excited was even more exciting. So just overwhelming and, um, yeah, really proud. So, yeah, it's a pretty proud moment. Want to say something, bud? I, L, O, V, E, I love Y, O, M, U, M. Oh. I won the 2020 Wellingtonian of the Year Youth Philanthropy Award. I was the youngest person at the awards to win a prize. The future for Cyrus is awesome. If he gets onto his technology, sorts all that out, there's no stopping him. He wants to be an architect, he wants to be a music editor, a film editor, he wants to do design. I have never liked going to parks before. It was boring watching all the other kids play. Now I want to go all the time. There's so many people who just see Cyrus as a disabled child, and so they don't think about the things that he could do. So I'm super proud that Cyrus has got up, and he's not afraid to get up. And he's actually saying to other kids out there, look, get out there and do it. And that's a really cool message. It is so cool to feel the wind in my face and the movement when I'm swinging. Nobody has to hold on to me, and I'm doing it by myself. I am free. <laughs>